Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good morning and thank you for joining us today as we continue our reading and reflecting in the Psalms. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 128th Psalm, which is a Psalm of Ascents. It, it describes a state of blessedness for someone who fears the Lord. If you would read with me, I'll be reading from the New American Standard Version. How blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you shall eat of the fruit of your hands, you will be happy and it will be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, for thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Indeed, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Here we see the psalmist describing the state for someone who is fearing God and is blessed by the Lord. And the prosperity that the psalmist describes is shown in the fact that the a uh, person who fears the Lord, he'll have a, a large family. Again, that's a sign of prosperity and, and, and being able to feed and provide for that family shows uh, in, in the psalmist's culture that God has provided for him because he fears him. Now, it, this is uh, a state of prosperity that um, the, the book of Job deals with. Uh, that when someone is doing well, uh, it appears that God is with him. And it's important for us to remember that this is a general rule of thumb. It's not a absolute guarantee uh, that just because you fear the Lord, that doesn't always mean that you're going to be blessed or that just because you're, that you have prosperity, that doesn't inherently mean that you fear the Lord. It's, a, again, a general rule of thumb. But as you see in, in this psalm, there is a principle here that is important for us to understand. That when we fear the Lord, that more often than not, things tend to go well for us. Uh, not, maybe not always financially, maybe not always physically. But it is important for us to know that when we listen to the wisdom of God, when we keep his commandments that it does good things for us. God's word does bring life and healing to our bones. And so that's important for us to remember as we go through our day, as we go through uh, the challenges of the work week, as we go through uh, the trials and temptations that we face, it is better for us to trust in the Lord and keep his covenant because God has made promises for those who will love him and follow him. Now we may not always be blessed in this life, but we know that God does keep his promises and we will be rewarded spiritually and, and we will be rewarded on the day of judgment for listening to God and fearing him. I hope that this helps you as you go through your day today. May God bless you.